What's up, Kia? Ooh, hi, T. Hi. We a little late. I guess we gotta, ex- you know, tell people we we here. It's only seven oh one. I know, but you know, we try to be on time. Yeah, we do. Sorry, guys. It's, it's, what's about it? We t- we blame you. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know the drill. Come on in. We here. Happy Friday. <laughs> Grab your drinks. I got mine. Oh, I got Oh, you got the glass. I know. Go for it. What y'all drinking on? What y'all drinking on? Oh. Well, Issa said she was going to be fireball. Fireball? I was like, okay, and, and I hope they're ready for our, what is it, Never Have I Ever? Yep. I have some. I, you I have some? Have, 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 well, I have one, because we can only do one, right? Right, we only can do one, and we got the sip and sip game, so I hope everybody done paid a good homework. Uh, yeah, homework. But what y'all I drinking on? Know. Let us know. Put them in the comments. Let us know what y'all drinking on. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my God. I'm I'm back. Um, about this show. I know. Today. I feel like I'm in Carolina's kitchen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 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 Look, no, I'm really excited though, Candy Congo fan. First of all, I'm excited for two reasons. One, we have gone past 420 members. I think we're okay. like, yeah, we're almost at 500 yeah. members. Mm-hmm. So we are loving on y'all and y'all are loving us back. And I'm so, so, so grateful and so appreciative. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, um, yes. Hey, Ronnie. I'm so appreciative of that. And then the second reason why I'm excited, besides the fact that I get to host this show with you. Uh-huh. Good answer. <laughs> because I have, I have one of my one of my besties from my village here. Uh-huh. Now. Yes, yes. I'm, I, look, and what are we talking about, though, girl? We're gonna be talking about abstinence. Ooh, yes. And we Ab- had to be corrected. We had to be corrected, we right? Be, yes, we did. Yeah, because we were calling it uh, celibacy, right? Mm-hmm. But then Mika had to kind of like break it down for us, which we're gonna let her break it down for you guys, right? I mean, because she, I mean, the green goddess is, is in a house, so I, I can't wait. I, Listen, I, what are we bringing her into? Because I meant to ask, like, what her song preference was. What, what, pick a song. Let me, we got to bring her in with a song. No, we can bring, no, she's very diverse. We used to do day but she's very diverse. She like house music. Tell of course, song. Give me some reggae. Little Give reggae. Me little reggae. Yeah. Some yeah. She, she can um, talk. She can, she can do, she can, she can, she can, uh, Mm. Get a little song, get a little uh, yeah. So what, what song is that? Oh, well, I just put on some beady man. Here, we go. Here some, we go. We'll see what this do after this commercial break. Cause <laughs> oh my god, I don't think I wanted to hear the USAA commercial. No, we we didn't want to hear that. But we want to play the game. How many questions are we doing today? Play our game. Yeah, we're gonna do six because we are. Hey, bring her in, bring her in, kids, bring her in. What she got? All right, all right. Listen, without further ado, we are gonna bring in the Green Goddess, also known as Mika. Uh, hey, 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 get it, get it, Joanna. Hey. hey. Welcome hey. to Candy Con. Hey, baby. Mika. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, but I, I forgot to do something. I forgot to do something because I know my, my I got CBT and ADHD and CBD and all that. But well, I forgot to go about this point. So let me go about this point. XYZ. Yep. Yep. All of that. So, look, this is a disclaimer. Y'all already know how we do it. Um, if you got some kids in a room, we're talking about sex today. So if you don't, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. If you got kids in the room, we're talking about SEX today. I meant to say. We're talking about not having SEX. Is that different? And right, not having it. <laughs> right. 
Right. You might want your kids to listen, but we cuss. So I use your preference. You might cuss too. Most of my friends do. So um, whatever. Um, two, the bathrooms is to the front and the back of the house. Um, don't put no paper towels in our toilets. And if you sprinkle, if you sprinkle, wipe it off. I mean, I just want to feel like we're here with all our friends. I just want to feel like we're having a house party tonight because we're talking about real, real shit. Uh, the third thing is we cuss. So I, that's our disclaimers, right? Was that all of them? Just make sure you don't say half the kids because I'm going to mess it all up. You know, did y'all see her? Or did y'all see our video when the social worker came out of her ass and she came out? I said, fuck them kids. She said, oh, don't fuck them kids. Don't fuck them kids. I don't know why that came. I'm like, that came out wrong. I didn't mean to say that. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> you are so inappropriate. That was you. You are so inappropriate. It's ridiculous. They know we ain't mean like we was going to like. I know, but I just wanted to make sure for all of our special bunnies, all of our That's special. That's right. We, are, we do got some special viewers. We do. And we, we are ADA compliant. We we are. We don't discriminate. So we, you right. <laughs> so you right. <laughs> you okay. Miko. We got Miko on oh. two things. Miko, hey, Miko, Miko you're the storm knocking cats and dogs over here. Yeah, the storm over this way too. So we're gonna apologize, but we live. They know listen, we live. It is what it is. It's actually stormed the last three shows so. we've done. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So, All right, so look, we're going to get into this game because we already went over the rules. I mean, we went over the disclaimers. So yeah. the, rules of the game is this. Very simple. We're going to do some Never Have I Ever, all three of us to give one, and then we'll pull three more from the audience, right? Because we're doing six. Kia said, Kia said 10 was too many, and we was too drunk. So we're going to do six to see how that works. We're going to do six to see how that works. We might got to cut that down to three. You feel me? So, um, we do, we do all, all of us to do one, then we pull three from the audience. Um, and it's never have I ever style. So, whatever they say, if you have done it, you take a drink. If you have not done it, or you don't want that, nobody around you to know that you've done it, then you don't do it. And put a finger up or something, you know. But play the game. <laughs> I say that to say. Look, I'm Miss Tori. I hope she jumps on. She's not feeling too good today. I hope she jumps in because her, hers were, were so good. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, you got one? Here we go. Let's start with the guests. We're going to start with the guests. All right, Mika, that's on you. What you got? What's your first never have I ever? Mika? Oh, she looked froze. Ooh. Okay. Okay, yeah, she looked froze. Okay, so I'm gonna start. So never have I ever driven dirty. What you mean by dirty though? Without a license. Oh, without a license, because see, my view of dirty is something different. Okay. So never have I ever driven without a license. I know I have. I definitely have. Because I, I mean, especially during that permit time where it was like he was tired of, you know, mm -hmm. waiting for the task. And you, I was like, but I got the permit. So, yeah. Well, I've, been, I've been driving. I've been driving since 18. So, I ain't. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I got How long have you been driving to? Don't worry about your business. What you, what you say on, on TikTok? You mind my business? Don't do that. Don't I'm do gonna, that. Listen, let me just tell you, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best. Not to get kicked out today, guys. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna I got I got one. What? Have I ever gave head inside of a moving vehicle? Did wait, moving? Like why they were driving? Like somebody was driving and you just <laughs> did all that. So if you did the you car drive, with, if you did it, you take a drink. Never have I ever given head while the vehicle was in motion. You're making this a okay. Day. What? What if you wait a minute? Wait a minute. I got something. so. What if you started when it was moving, but then you stopped when they said they I might crash? Take a drink, kid. Take a drink. You, 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 you analytical. <laughs> right. Okay. We got Mika back. Come on, Mika. What you got? You got one for us. Welcome back. Never have you ever what? What? 
She got a delay, I think. Oh, yeah. That's storm tearing her ass over there on that side of town. Okay. We'll come back. One. Here we go. Never have I ever passed gas while having sex. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is, that is so embarrassing, though, when it happens. Because you be trying to be real sexy and everything, and then it just... Or it, sometimes it's the air, though. The air no, we, ain't, we ain't talking about no damn air. We talking about that ass fart. Not the coochie fart, <laughs> but the ass fart. I think but sometimes the good. vagina farts, too. We ain't talking about that. We talking about... She oh, said, okay. Okay. Dance come out the air. <laughs> Then you're gonna try and break something down to something else. What it do? It's... Come on, y'all. What y'all got? Never have I ever what? Can you think of one? We might be doing a show without Mika. You gonna talk about it? Because I think I'm abstain. I'm. A, I'm fine. I think I'm. Abstain. Oh wow, really? Mm. <laughs> right. Come on, yeah, give me one. Gotta... I never have I ever ever said fuck them kids. Oh, I've never said that. Yes, oh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Oh, yes, okay. I, have. I had to think about it. Yes, I, yes, I have. Yes, well, I maybe have. Some receipts. Let me go to this text message. Oh, it's no need for all of that. It's Come on, no need me. for all of that. Misha, give me one. Nicole, give me one. Cuz, okay. Gia, give me one. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Ooh, never have I ever been with a woman. <laughs> we all experiment from time to time. Yeah, I just took my hat. <laughs> Good one, Jill. I bet you a guy wrote that. Nah, G is an old woman. That's oh, okay. I, I just I couldn't see who I couldn't see Gia. who. You know Gia. Oh, Gia, Gia. Oh, yeah, that was with me when I on the alley in Baltimore and all that. Oh, I so, but I met her at the library before. So yeah, hi, <laughs> my baby. Hey, Gia. Come on, y'all, slow tonight. Everybody must be drunk already, kid. Because what? No, they're they're, they're not. They're not. What? They is drunk or not? So I have one. Get for me. Get for me. Okay. Okay. Wait. Mika, Did won't you? you she needs to move from where she is. I don't think that's a good spot. Mika. No. Try another spot in your place. Okay. So I have one. Never have I ever been in a menage. What's what's a menage? <laughs> really? Never have I ever, never I have I ever had sex with more than one person. Let me clutch my pearls. What? <laughs> what's, the, what's, the, what's the question? Never have I ever been in a menage. <laughs> Ooh, never have I ever had sex. Second, second, second with a white guy. Huh? Yeah. Never a never white guy? Ooh, almost did, though. Ooh. Have I never, I ain't never been with a white guy. I ain't never been with a white guy. Almost, but not quite. Do being the kid? Do? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No, no, no. My, now look who's being analytical. Never. Ooh. Tuck toes. <laughs> Here we go. Never have I ever slept with any of my ex family or friends. Oh no, I never did that. Oh no, oh no, no. I ain't never. Like, did what that. you mean, like ex? Like, like what kind of friends? Do you like, like your, like your homeboy? Like y'all broke up not, and y'all got back. No, like I think she's saying like her ex is like your ex boyfriend or what have you. You know what I mean? Like your ex. Oh, you know what? Let me think about but, that. But their family and friends. Oh no, no, right, so like your homie. No, that's boy. That's that's like some type of code. I think I think that's against the code of some sort. I think. Yeah, she <laughs> said her ex, ex man. Yeah, we know. Oh, the man. Uh... Hey, because did you take a drink on this one or no? 
me, let me mind my business. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Don't don't put people don't put people business on you. Oh, she said like revenge. G is oh, like damn, G, you going deep with it. The revenge, no, I, the revenge sex. No, I've never done. I didn't even know it was a such thing as revenge sex. It is, but I mean, do it count if you ain't know that they was boys? <laughs> I don't think so. Cause then it's not revenge. Cause it's not like you're doing it intentionally. Mika, you here or not? Oh wait, we got Mika back. Mika, welcome back. Hey, that's mom knocking all her stuff out over there, man. Hey, I know. Dang. Dang. There you go. Oh, you're breaking up, but not a storm. Okay. So I can hear you so much better. Oh, yay. Good. So let's Good. get into it because why we got it. Right it. Exactly. So, so the question before you pose her question, let me pose it to the to the audience. For the audience, are you celibate? We want to know. You can drop it in the comments or you can just send me an inbox. But I'm just nosy and we're nosy. So we want to know, are you celibate? And that's for the audience. <laughs> now we will ask Mika some other questions. But, <laughs> So, Mika, first of all, thank you for coming. Sorry you're having all those issues, girl. You in a good spot now, though. Yes. So, it's just the kind it was. Say that again? I said it's much Say better it again? than what it was. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. It's much better so, so, I'm going to get into this. So, when you, so, so you're abstaining, is that correct? Yes, I am. I'm practicing abstinence. Okay. So how long have you been doing that and, and why? Mm -hmm. I'm going into my third month, which has been very interesting. Um, and I'm mainly doing it for myself. I want to collect my energy. I want to gather my energy at this time. There's so much going on out here now. And um, I'm just not in a place to spread my energy in different places like I have previously um, because everyone else I love, love, yeah. love. So. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> love. One more time. But um, too, I'm also too, looking at it. I'm actually, you can't hear me? No, I said, I, 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 yeah, no, that's, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, yeah, with the, I'm, I'm abstaining and collecting my energy with folks that I end in a committed relationship. And I would, I would like a relationship that has as much to offer as I have to offer it. So to do that, uh, you know, I want to save up my love. Sometimes you need to take back some of the things that you lost from different relationships or some of the things that you gave to different people or that they gave to you and um, become whole again. You know, take that time to love on myself and know what I really want and what really like and what's for me. And so I've taken that time out to do this and just, again, to keep and collect my energy and save it for me and for who is really worthy of having it. Hmm. Wow. Wow. First of all, I, I have to say, like, I applaud um, your discipline one. I, go ahead. Your sound is off. My sound is off. Mm -hmm. Oh, could be, could be that 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 storm thing going. Yeah, you sound like you're talking through a megaphone. Also, be quiet. No. Oh, no. it's my own. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. And <laughs> hey, listen, it's a live show. We apologize, but listen, we ain't in control of none of this. Yeah. Uh, sorry, guys. Um, so maybe you should ask her more questions. Do you have your headphones? Mine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do my headphones. Can you switch them? I'm going to up and you're going to be by yourself for a minute. I'll ask me a good question. All right, go with it, guys. I'll be back, guys. All right, all right. So, Mika, um, we heard you say that, you know, you... Um, you know, are collecting your energy, which I so appreciate, right? I'm all into that whole energy collecting and, uh, you know, saving yourself for the people for... Um, you know, whoever you feel deserves that, that piece of you, right? So what right. did you come to that decision, though? Like, yeah. the process that you went through that kind of um, got you to that point where you just, like, 
you know what? Like today's that day. I ain't having sex no more, you know, whatever, whatever. And like, I'm done until, you know, what was that process like for you to even think that this to come to this decision rather? Oh, before I started abstaining, I was dating and, you know, going with the flow like we do. If sex ended up in the situation, it ended up in the situation. But then I got to a point to where I was like, hmm, I think I want to settle down now. Are any of my situations worthy of me in this point, in this moment, as far as what I had to give or what they're giving to me? Mm. And after thinking it through, I was like, mm, no, clean slate. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's try it again. There's no relationship yeah, that I'm in right now that I feel is what I really have to give or has given me anything to make me do a cartwheel or even to say, hmm, I want to roll over <laughs> to you every night. So, right. so I was like, okay, let's clean this slate and let's start over and like let's move because whoever I'm gonna come into, I want them to feel my energy before they even get to feel my energy, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh wait. So, so question. Your sound sounds better too, Kia. Um, okay. um, so question. So that's a that's a hard like oh I'ma say it would be a hard decision for me. Let me just say that, you know. <laughs> But right, given that <laughs> mind your business, don't do that. But say you minding my business, don't do that. So, look, <laughs> do you think COVID had anything to do with your decision? Because <laughs> look, you said three months ago, I was three months ago, we was at this start of the COVID. COVID ding dong. <laughs> because like COVID, what's the most? No, and I'm dead serious because COVID started about three months ago, right? And so, like, was that already like the path you was on before COVID really like fucked us up, or did like COVID kind of like add to that decision, right? You know. Uh, no, that's kind of like the path that I was on before COVID came along. Um, at the beginning of the year, I had been dating a gentleman for an entire year, and wow. that was my my end date. That was like, hey, I'm gonna give it to you years, see where it goes. If it's not where I want it to be, then I need to try something else. Because if okay. you want different results, you can't keep doing the same thing. True. And so yeah. not to mention, I've done this before in college. I, I went for a whole year. I'm, I'm not going to tell you that I wasn't at the bottom of the refrigerator crawling in circles at the end of that year. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I mean, what? what? The church finger mean pause. Uh, I forgot to tell you that we've got to tell you when we do the church finger. It mean we we got a question. Mm -hmm. I got I, I got I got a question. So college is usually when you are at your peak, and it's t it's temptation all around you, and you even if you've so, been in college so for three years, were well, you still masturbating, but you just wasn't having intercourse? So hold on, is your question again? Was that so when you went the whole year abstaining, what? I didn't hear her answer to that question. She ain't answering. Because you asked her too many yeah, questions. Yeah, I did the question again when I went the whole year. I did. I only asked one question. T, back up off me, T. Jeez. Anyway, <laughs> I'm trying not to get kicked off the show. You're doing good. Go ahead. I'm doing good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> What I was saying was, like, usually when, when you're in college, that's when you're kind of sowing your wild oats, you're kind of experimenting. I mean, m I mean, my focus was still on my grades in school, but, like, the first year, I was, like, wilding out. Like, I can't even remember going to class. So, with all those questions, were you still masturbating and not having intercourse, or was it just, like, you were abstaining from sex altogether? In college for a year. Back in college altogether, I was overwhelmed. Like I had everybody coming at me. I was like, okay, so I'm out of my mama's house. I just had ended my relationship before I went to college. And I was like, this is unfamiliar. Like, you know, I'm used to being with somebody. And so I have all these people now like shooting their shot. And I'm like, no, I need to, I need to refocus myself. So let me shut down for a second. And kind hmm. of find out even which direction I'm 
want to move in or which direction I should move in because when I tell you they they be coming at you fresh meat like they say yeah and, um, yeah yeah I was on the I know I wasn't no nah. so um so what was your hairstyle like back in college <laughs> did you have hair or you ain't have hair in college so what was my I had uh, so much hair. I had so much hair. Yeah, she she uh, actually and, done a lot of different styles. So 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 that leads me to my next. So people just assume you was doing bald head hoe shit without having a bald head, thing, <sighs> right? And so yeah, because you had yeah. long hair, yeah. they had you fucked up. See, that is that. Right. That's no. a conclusion. That's the A plus B equals C. She ain't had <laughs> short hair. And the people thought she was gonna do a whole like activities and they equal that to be bald head whole shit, but then see, 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 that, bald head. It might have been a drink. This shit is good. That's that's oh, like I, I, had, I had I had short hair, I had gray eyes. Oh yeah, I was I was cute. I thought I was cute. Yes, really. Hold on, you had gray I, I really thought I was cute. But you but you probably were you, know, you said oh. I had gray eyes, yeah, you know, back then. Back then, I was trying to be, you know, I, I was trying to become myself. Oh, okay. That's what's that? So that I mean, like, that's, that was the start of conversation. Like, oh, I like that. Yes. And I'd be like, oh, thank you. And then he was like, yeah, I want you. And I was like, oh. Oh. So, so I mean, you want to do that? So you ain't know that that long head hoe shit mixed with okay, you know what? Uh, mixed with your fresh meat ass on campus. You ain't think that was gonna equate to these dudes chasing you around campus, and you and you locked your box. You locked the box, right? So, no, I, I I was fresh out of uh, uh, I had a boyfriend. I was fresh out of a relationship. I ain't know nobody. Right, that's what that's what I heard I you say. I heard her say that, but what but I'm I saying is, you know, you learn how to control the box. Hmm. Questions. Ask a uh, answer. I'm finished asking questions. <laughs> you want to excuse so all the me, things. So, like, so let me ask you something, Mika. I mean, because I've, I mean, I've been out with you, and I see men. I, I mean, you're, you're a very beautiful woman. Um, and so we've been out, and I've seen guys throw themselves out. I, I, so I understand that everything that glitter is not gold, right? So. Do you feel like you abstaining will eventually lead to this celibacy, which is like a higher level where you say, I'm going to abstain until I get married? Like, do you think that that's the direction you're going in? Or is it just like, I'm not really sure? Hmm. Uh, my self-love has actually been off the charts. Like, peace of mind, you can't yeah. know that. Like... No, just the of, I don't have to call nobody. I don't have to. Uh, I get the hey, stranger. I get the I miss you, and that's all good and fine. I miss you too, but right. uh, I enjoy Tell we can zoom. Myself. Tell them we can zoom me in. Focus on. <laughs> Tell them hit don't me. I can focus on don't what's hit. going on. I'll Yes, college. Yes, congratulations. Yes, we're, we're celebrating all of that. Time to focus. We need the we need the shout out. We need the shout out, uh, baby girl. If you don't mind, shout her out because we Not we celebrate. Yeah, so shout out to Femi. What class of twenty twenty? She just she got accepted into Delaware State, right? Shout out. Yes, yes. go there. I'm glad you didn't let them kids have real graduations. Yes. I'm glad. So I'm glad. Woo, woo. What? Congratulations. Congratulations on that. I'm telling you. I got you. one more question. I got one more question, then we're going to wrap it up. Can you hear me? Mika, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. What is it going to take for you to give up them cheeks and break this abstinence tree? Hey, oh my gosh, don't ask her that question. I thought we said it was The people want to do it. My, friend, my friend just texted me. My friend just texted me and said they wanted to know. They didn't want to ask it on here because they'd be embarrassed. 
the text me and was like, what is it going to take for her to give up the cheeks? We're here for the people. We're here for the people. That's what I'm saying. We're here for the people. I and need we some realness. Oh. oh. I need some realness. I need some consistency. I need some genuine and who's like into me more than I'm into them. If they can court me like back in the day, you know, we used to court each other. That's what we used to like each other and find out things about each other. And, you know, yes. whether his mama has or you know hold on you said whether his mother has or, hiv you know, what she say what you say um, whether his mother no, got no, hiv I said, ADD. ADD. Oh, ADD. oh okay okay yes okay i just need to learn i need to know some things and i need some consistency and i don't need game like no I don't want your game. I want your realness. If you can't give me the energy that I'm giving off, if you can't feel me again before you feel me, then nah, I'm good. That's so deep. I mean, when you say it, it almost gives me goosebumps because I know that connection you're talking about. It's like it's it's beyond it's beyond that physical part of it. It's it's like you you feel what they're gonna say before they even say it. It's mm. that soul connection where it's like, I've known you maybe in another life. Right. And so now it's like, wow, this is really not the first time. You know, right. like that. Yeah, that's. I'm getting older. I'm back to that old school vibe. Like, how, how old are you now? How old are you? Like, how, how old are you? I'll be 40 this year. Oh, we're going to get turned up this year. I'm yeah. here. We're going we gonna to do it COVID style. We're about to go all the way <laughs> Cause listen, y'all right like, now. I'm having a made up birthday party. Let me boy put that joint out there. I'm having a made up birthday party on the 22nd. I'm a post on online. I'm gonna be 39.75. So you know the invitation go back. I'm 39 and some change. You hear me? We're gonna have a 39 and some change turn up because come November we're gonna be locked down. I'm gonna have a, a Zoom party. But yeah, her birthday is really in November, and she's having a free birthday celebration in August. I mean, we gonna be locked. She almost made it to the end of the show. She um, <laughs> she almost ain't get kicked out. She she was that close, Mika. She was that she was no. Is you ready to stop minding my damn business? Is you ready or no? It's so disrespectful. You're just as disrespectful as that is the cookout above the funeral. I mean, cookout above the uh you're just as disrespectful as the cookout above the cemetery block. I know because that joint went viral. And I found out the real I found out the real video. My homegirl sent me the real video of the story of somebody actually yeah, we got to see the cookout in first person. Yeah. But I ain't posted because I wanted to you know. And so, so and let me just let me put that before somebody think we were making fun of it, it's still condolences. To the young man who lost his life. A little bit strange. A little bit strange. Really, really young age, but I ain't never seen a full cookout with three grills, two grills. See, can I ask? Can I? I have another question for Mika. Yes, ask Mika another more question. Yes. So I know you just basically laid out. Like I know it's so. Hard. I, I know she's special. It, you, you'll get used to her though. <laughs> and don't kick me out. I have a question. <laughs> so I know you laid out basically like all the the different characteristics that a, a, a male needs to possess in order for you to consider um, dating them. Has anyone, I guess, met any of the boxes in your checklist, on your checklist where you're, I mean, it, has anybody? I mean, are you dating? Mika, don't answer that. Mika, don't answer because that. Because if she's not, then maybe a couple guys feel like they, I mean, because if they're, they're, listen, all men are not the same. I don't want to, I, this is a female-driven show, but we still love what our men. So all I'm saying is there might be some men that believe that they, you know, meet your specific criteria. Are you open to them connecting with you to see? That's a better question. Because the other question, all your little jokes that you might be talking to gonna feel like they is the one. And then they <laughs> in your, in. so I just wanted to put like we don't know. Yeah, but I wanted to prevent that. When she like, was you like, was there anybody who met them boxes? She be like, no. Yeah. I was, what, what I was trying to say was, is she actually dating someone? Because she could be actually dating somebody now and not saying it. I See, mean, but I, that, 
She stopped sipping. There's all the CBT is coming out now. That's why we can't even really hear you, so it don't matter. Screw you. Mika can hear me. But can she? I can't. Um, there are some prospects. I have one that's actually pretty strong. Did you cut her off again? Just keep going. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have, a, I have a pretty strong prospect. I have someone who um, has now, see, surpassed. Thank you. Damn, we ain't hear that last part. Somebody, you got a strong prospect, then what? He's actually surpassed my expectation. Ooh. 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 See, thank you. Nika, you want to say what I'm saying? We're here. We're here. I don't know if you're here. Wait, am I pointing the right way? It's coming my way now. It's thundering, so we, I might lose power. So, uh, thank you. Mika. Before we end the show, I, I know there's a lot. We have such a broad range of, of women that watch our show. Mm -hmm. So what advice would you give to a young lady that's maybe around your daughter's age that's entering college and the wolves are going to be circling them because they're fresh meat? What advice would you give them in terms of um, making sure that they too have that, that, um, that standard that you have? of making sure that when a male approaches them that they come with the right energy. What kind of advice could you give them so that they can kind of like, I guess, cherish their body, worship their body, respect their body, all of that? Trust your gut. Don't, don't ever go against your gut. If something smells funny, leave it. I don't care how good it looks or how much it glitters because once you scratch the surface and find out what's really there, it may not even be worth your time. Mm. You definitely trust your gut. And don't let anybody tell you that the path you on is the wrong path, even if you make mistakes. Because those mistakes are going to turn you into the person that you are truly meant to be. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Because I think so often our uh, young folk, they go to school or they hang around a certain crowd and they feel like, okay, I just got to show out because you know, it looks good, or I'm just trying to, like, kind of fit in, and I don't want to seem like the stuck-up one, you know, I want to seem like, you know, because, I mean, because we, we do that. We label people who are not doing what the masses are doing. Rather, we call them socially awkward, or, or they stuck up, or whatever it is, but I think when they're, when they are at this age, um, I, I think, honestly, what's the earliest you think you should start instilling it, um, T? I mean, I think, especially with our young girls. And still in what, though? What do we The doing? whole notion that your body is a temple, that you need so, to respect that good your touch, body. From, you start having that conversation with that good touch, bad touch. Mm -hmm. That good touch talk, whenever that talk is, which I feel like, you know, it should be really early because these kids is microwave babies. But yeah, because... You talk. Go ahead, Mika, what you say? Sex isn't a bad thing. I've never right. told anybody that sex is a bad thing. Like, even casual sex, if you if that's what, how you choose right. to rock, rock out. Right. But again, trust your gut. Let Listen yes. to your body. Let it speak to you. You'll know when to stop, when to start, when it's okay, when somebody about to give you some energy or some trauma that you don't need. That's one thing we always have to protect ourselves Ooh. from. And we don't. Like, you don't need that. Protect yourself. Make sure yeah. you're not getting no old baggage or something that ain't for you because you leave with that and take a piece of your business mm -mm. everybody mm. Mm. and you know what protect yourself ladies please That's i know good. we're talking about covid but listen make sure if you decide to do that make sure these guys are not going up in your room can i say i'm sorry because I hear too many stories from too many people that are dear to my heart that end up contracting all kinds of STDs or unplanned pregnancies because they're like, oh, he said he's clean. Don't don't let anybody no, let's let's not do that. Make sure you have, if you decide to do that, that you stay safe. Yes. And it's COVID. Let me keep saying because that COVID, that shit is new. So like that's a new test. 
I'm gonna need all results. Your STD, <laughs> HIV, STD, <laughs> HIV and AIDS, and I'm gonna need the COVID within the last 72 hours. Because like, no, listen, baby, you can decide. I'm telling. Listen, a baby getting pregnant, you can make some decisions. Whatever way gonna work for you, have it, don't have it, give it away, keep it. Like you got all them kind of decisions. HIV, some meds, you know, get you some little exercise, all that good stuff. That COVID though, <laughs> that COVID, that shit a new risk. I'm just saying, abstinence might be key for a lot of motherfuckers. They just don't want, they don't know yet, Mika, but you done educated some folks on some new shit. Watch I wake up tomorrow with a lot of people post to my day abstinent starting tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm with it. I'm like, I call drama. I'm abstinent too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, T, I think I froze, but I can still hear you. So we hear you and you're moving. Yeah, I don't see myself moving, but it's fine. That's all right. I know hey. we jump off. But the jump off is what led to the abstinence decision. Cause you got to jump off with just anybody, right? And that's what you said, Mick. We ain't jumping off with anybody. Your body is your temple. So appreciate it. Love it. Right. Jump off Love it. yourself. Jump off on yourself. That's right. And don't let COVID jump on you. Really, T. <laughs> don't let COVID jump on. I'm just. <laughs> How about it's been a great you? show. Mika, thank you so much for taking the time out your schedule and joining us. We we welcome you to the Candid Combo family. Make sure you come back and visit us. Yes. And tune in. Make sure you tune in. Um, uh, because you never know what we're gonna be talking about. And of course, it's not like I ain't gonna see you because I will, you know, I see you. I know I owe you a date, but that's fine. I'm, I'm gonna get there. Thank you, Mika, from all of the CBT uh, sufferers of the nation. I tell you that we appreciate you on behalf of the crack baby nation. <laughs> now you're a nation. The crack baby Tennessee. This is a movement. <laughs> don't 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 worry about it. It ain't for you. Don't worry about it. It's okay. We accept allies. <laughs> we like allies for how, our foolishness. How many people in your nation? Three. There you go. Minding my business. Okay. <laughs> Listen, but what we gotta tell the people is listen, we don't have no show next week. I know y'all I know we don't. We're traveling. We don't have no show next week. We'll be back on the 21st. Maybe. Yeah, we'll be yeah, I know. I'll be doing some traveling and taking some time. And now we have I will listen, pay uh, peace love. Pay. What did you say, Mika? I travel safe. You you know T, you can hit me up if you we can roll. That week, the kid gone. Uh, if if you uh if you need anything, yeah, up. you know the storm. Listen, the storm done passed, so you already know what time it is. <laughs> I text you. I text you. Mika, don't let her corrupt you, okay? There she goes. She done, you. Uh, she done strike right out. Here. She done strike right out. Here. It's right. It's right. Yeah, it's the yeah. Jen say her family is. Playing. Gemma, you always damn late battle. Battle, it's on replay. Play the shit back and leave the comments like that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come for Jim like that. <laughs> G and her family never to never have you ever. I'm about to come over there too, G. You cook. But anyhow, um peace, love, and hair grease, folks. We're not here next week. We know. Oh, so sorry. We see you guys on the 24th. I'll be coming with an update video for my journey, my healing journey. Um, probably after I get medicated tonight. So just stay tuned. <laughs> um, I know, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. That's my battle. Out. You watch the show, Gemma. Fuck them. We you love you, Gemma. You watch it right now at your time because Mika said you take your time to have up for yourself and you do what's right for you, sis. You feel what I'm saying? And it wasn't right to watch that set. But you don't get that message right now. Oh, jeez. Okay. She said I will. She said I will because that's my battle. I love that lady. That's my boo. Anyhow, peace, love, and hair grease. We see you guys. Um, be safe. Not sorry. Wash your face, wash your hands, and y'all already know what I feel. Fuck them kids. Hey.